Hello, my name is Meryem Karagulova. I'm a teacher of Asian Medical Institute. Asian Medical Institute is a single institute in Kyrgyzstan which is free of corruption. In our institute, your marks will fully reflect your real knowledges. Our institute is aimed on providing high quality education because our teachers are speaking English fluently and trying to teach their subjects on high level. Lesson number three. Grammatical categories of noun. In this lesson, we will discuss with you grammatical categories of nouns such as category of number, category of gender, and category of case. Also, I will explain you what is dictionary form of noun and how to indicate base of noun. Question. What is noun? As you know, noun is a part of speech which is used to name things, objects, places. As well as we are studying medicine, our nouns will name structures of human body. Look at the example of Latin nouns. Costa, rib, ductus, duct, musculus, muscle, facies, surface, cavum, cavity, neuron, neuron, and magister, teacher. As a part of speech, Latin noun, as well as English noun, has three grammatical categories. Number, gender, case. Category of number. Nouns in Latin may be singular or plural form. The difference between these two forms is in their flexions. Singularis form is helpful for indicating gender of noun. Pluralis form is constructed by changing singular ending to plural ending. Category of gender All nouns of Latin can be divided into three generic groups. Masculinum, masculine, femininum, feminine, neutrum, neutral. You may ask how to indicate gender of noun. Gender of the most Latin nouns is indicated from their endings. Masculinum gender nouns have endings us, er, mus, ductus, musculus, magister. Femininum nouns can have endings a, s, costa, facies. Neutrum nouns can have endings um, u, on. Example, cavum, genu, neuron. Remember, for some nouns of Latin, it is impossible to indicate gender from ending. All those nouns are included into separate case group, third declension. We need to use dictionaries for these nouns in order to indicate gender correctly and we have to remember that. Example, pulmo, masculinum noun, radix, femininum noun, caput, neutrum noun. All these nouns are third declension nouns. Category of case. In Latin, we have six cases, but two of them are mostly used in anatomical terminology. First of them is nominativus. Nominative case of Latin corresponds to the common case of English. Words used in this case answer to question what. All the nouns of Latin are given in nominativus singularis form. Second one is genitivus. Genitive case of Latin corresponds to possessive case of English. Words used in this case answer to the question of what. Genitivus form is constructed by changing nominativus ending to genitivus ending. 
Genitivus form is helpful in indicating base of noun, by the way. According to the genitivus endings, Latin nouns can be divided into five declensions. Now look at the table of declensions. As you see, first declension nouns can be only femininum gender. In nominativus, they have ending a, in genitivus a. Second declension nouns, only masculinum and neutrum. In nominativus, they have ending us and er. In genitivus, ending e. Second declension neutrum nouns, ending um, on. In genitivus, ending e. Third declension ca nouns can be masculinum, femininum or neutrum. In nominativus, they have various endings. In genitivus, they will have common ending is. Fourth declension nouns can be masculinum or neutrum. Fourth declension masculinum nouns in nominativus and genitivus, they have same endings. Us, us. In sec fourth declension neutrum nouns, they have ending u in nominativus and ending us in genitivus. Fifth declension nouns, only femininum can be. In nominativus, they have ending s in genitivus a. Now look at the column with changing nominativus ending to genitivus ending. Costa. Coste. If you remember, I, I told you that in nominativus form, nouns answer to question what? Costa means rip. Coste, of rip. As well as geniti in genitivus form, nouns answer to the question of what? Musculus, muscle. Musculi, of muscle. Magister, Teacher, magistri of teacher. Cavum, cavity. Cavi, of cavity. Neuron, neuron. Neuri, of neuron. Pulmo, lung. Pulmonis, of lung. Radix, root. Radicis, of root. Caput, hat. Capitis, of hat. Ductus, Duct, ductus, of duct. Genu, knee, genus, of knee. Facies, surface, facie, of surface. Last column of our table, you can see dictionary form of nouns. Dictionary forms of nouns can be found in dictionaries. It contains Nominativus singularis form of noun, genitivus singularis ending, and indication of gender. Costa, rip, e, genitivus ending, it means change a to e, and you will get genitivus form. F stands for femininum. Musculus, muscle, genitivus ending e, so, it means us to be changed to e in order to get genitivus form. M stands for masculinum. Magister, re genitivus ending. M stands for masculinum gender. Cavum, genitivus ending e, neutrum gender. Neuron, e, neutrum. Pulmo, genitivus ending o, nis, masculinum gender. Radix, genitivus ending itis, femininum gender. Caput, genitivus ending itis, neutrum gender. Ductus, genitivus ending us, masculinum gender. Genu, genitivus ending us, neutrum gender. Facies, genitivus ending a, Femininum gender. Next question. What is base of noun?
base of noun or we can say stem of noun is main part of noun which is used for constructing nominativus pluralis and genitivus pluralis forms of Latin nouns. Next question. How to indicate base of noun? In order to indicate base of noun, we should go through three steps. First step is to construct genitivus form. Second step is to, in, to cut off genitivus ending. What is left will be base of noun. Look at the table. Costa, cost, coste, genitivus form. Genitivus after cutting off genitivus ending, base will be cost. Musculus, genitivus form musculi. After cutting off genitivus ending e, we will get base muscle. Magister, magistri. After removing genitivus ending, base will be magister. Caput, capitis. After removing genitivus ending is, stem a base will be capit. Ductus, ductus. After removing genitivus ending us, stem will be duct. Facies, genitivus form facie. After removing genitivus ending a, base will be facie. Thank you for attention. See you next class. Goodbye.